हॅलो लर्नर्स आय एम अभिजित आहेर एम ई एस कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी सोनई इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ ट्युटोरियल वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न अबाउट मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग ऑफ हार्ड जिलेट इन कॅप्सूल शेल नाऊ आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस व्हिडिओ ट्युटोरियल्स यू विल एबल टू डिफरन्शिएट बिट्वीन डिफरंट कॅप्सूल सायजेस अँड सेकंडली डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग ऑफ हार्ड जिलेट इन कॅप्सूल शेल नाव फर्स्टली लुक various sizes of capsules now hard gelatin capsules ranging in a size from 000 to the largest and uh, five the smallest one generally hard gelatin capsules are used to encapsulate between 65 mg to the 1 g in this you can uh, in this below table you can observe 000 size is the largest which is having volume 1.37 and its maximum size is 26.3 mm so on last is the five size which is very smallest one that is 0.15 and volume and the size is 11.9 mm among these all sizes the triple zero size is not used for human use it is generally for the animal use and remaining sizes are used for the human use the most common size for the human use is a size 0 which is having volume is 0.68 ml and its size in millimeter is 21.8 mm now this is a one classic example of aspirin and uh, capsule sizes how much aspirin will get occupied in a each size of capsule you can observe in this figure the largest size that is 000 occupies the uh, amount of uh, aspirin is 975 gram milligrams and the smallest size only occupy the 65 milligrams of aspirin now next that is manufacturing of hard gelatin capsule shell generally hard gelatin capsule shells we need to manufacture its both part generally capsules having two parts that is cap and body both the parts we need to separately manufacture but the for manufacturing of these two parts in a separate pieces we need to follow the uh, following six steps that is dipping spinning drying stripping trimming or it's also called as a cutting and joining and lastly the polishing now let's look to the first step that is dipping in the dipping the pair of stainless steel pins are deep into the dipping solution to simultaneously forms a capsin bodies the dipping solution is maintained at a temperature of about 50 degree celsius in a heated jacketed dipping pan now let us look how this particularly happens by simple animation now the in a gray colors you can observe the pins stainless steel pins and in a green color you can observe the molten gelatin now in the dipping these pins will dip like this into the uh, into the gelatin solution and then it will leap up and the pins will get covered with the gelatin solution that particular step is called as a dipping step now next spinning step second step is a spinning in the spinning the pins are rotated to distribute the gelatin over the pins uniformly and to avoid formation of bed at the capsule ends now what happen at the capsule ends the gelatin will form a beds to avoid that we need to spin this particularly capsule in this manner you know this step that is dipping step after dipping the pins will get covered by the gelatin solution and now spinning we need to spin these pins in a 180 degree cell, uh, 80 degree angle so that it does not form bed and the gelatin will get uniformly distributed over the pins now the next step is a drying step as gelatin is in a molten state in the drying we need to cool the gelatin by blast of cool air from hard uh, to form a hard shell these pins are moved through the series of air drying and kneels to remove the water that will you can observe it will happen the gelatin pins are moving and simultaneously there is a movement of cool air so that gel molten gelatin will cools down and it will 
dry and you will get a hard gelatin shells. Now next point is important that is stripping. Through these pins we need to strip out our gelatin shell. So for that we need a series of jaws of strip that cap and body portions of the capsule from the pin. This uh, bronze jaws comes to the pins like this and then it will strip the capsule from the pins so that now we will get this particular thing we can call it as a we can call it as a cap or body similar way we can do the manufacturing of suppose this is a body and similar way we can manufacture the caps now next is a trimming in the trimming or cutting the stripped cap and body portions are trimmed to the required length by stationary knives by using stationary knives we can cut the caps and body of desired size after trimming to the right length the caps and body portion are joined and ejected from the machine now we need to join this but we are not locking we are just joining it and it will remove from the machine and last now the reflection spot I will have a question for you pause your video write down your answers in your notebook the question is what are the different techniques you think used to polish the capsule shell now play the video now according polishing polishing is generally done by uh, three methods similarly uh, first similar like our coating first is called as a pan polishing in that we can mostly use acela cota pan second is a cloth dusting capsule are rubbed with a cloth and lastly we can call it as a brushing the capsules are filled under a soft rotating brush this is a figure which will completely explain how the manufacturing process will occur you can observe here the dipping of your pins in a gelatin solution then it will get spin in a 180 degree celsius and at the same time there is a cool blast of drying then pins again rotated to the stripping here the bronze jaws will strip the caps or caps and bodies and then these stationary knives will cut down the caps and body in desired shape and finally the caps and body are joined and this is collected in a collecting chamber this figure simply explains the all step involved in a manufacturing of hard gelatin capsule shell thank you if you want more tutorial of like this you can follow my youtube channel that is pharmaceutics tutorial by abhijit ahir thank you